in this video we will check out which memory card is the fastest one and price performance recommendation for the brand new Olympus OM system, OM DS. I don't know how to call this camera, but it's the OM1, so let's find out. <laughs> Before I do a little demonstration, a short disclaimer beforehand. There's a yeah, tiny problem for this video with the OM1, being that you could either shoot with up to 120 frames per second, so really fast in raw full quality, great, amazing, but it's always silent and I didn't found any setting for an, let's say, artificial shutter sound, so you couldn't hear the difference between faster and yeah, not so fast memory cards or you could choose the mechanical shutter with just 15 frames per setting uh, per second and taking into the account the just 20 megapixel resolution it's not that much data for the really fast memory card controller so i took kind of the yeah golden middle way and set it up to 15 frames per second with the mechanical shutter so you can at least hear the shutter sound and tell the difference in speed but set it up to wall plus JPEG recording so we have a bit more data per second. So just to let you know, it's maybe equivalent to let's say 25 frames per second with wall only. Um, I put in the brand new Sabrand V90 or Rocket series, I guess it's called. So a new HS2 memory card with yeah, full speed. And let's begin. So you can hear 15 frames per second. The buffer is about 90 frames, doesn't depend on the picture quality you set. We are now at about 30 frames in the buffer, so 60, uh, 60 frames already used. 9, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So and now you can hear the speed you could achieve even if the buffer is yeah totally filled up. So it's quite okay. And let's say if you shoot with 120 frames per second, the buffer lasts about a second and that's it. And then it's much slower, but up to 25, 30 frames per second, there's not a real limitation with the UHS-2 memory cards. So real great controller combined with the new 2PIC X uh, image processor. So that's pretty amazing, but also with not so fast UHS-2 and UHS-1 cards. So let's switch to the Alexa 1800X. Pretty new card, you could achieve almost the same speed with the yeah, Angelbird V60 Mark II series. I don't know, two, two or three percent off. And doing the same test again, starting with 90 frames in the image buffer. We are already at 60, so it's not that much slower than the Sabrent card I showed you at first. It's uh, yeah, quite tiny difference, about 15, 20 ish percent um, to the fastest cards. So, considering the Angelbird card and the Lexa card are half as expensive, you could already hear or yeah, tell the difference. It's not that much. So, it's yeah, my price performance recommendation. Picking a let's say mid class UHS 2 cards, usually about 50 cents per gigabyte. So, yeah, quite amazing price performance with the um, OM1 already finished. So, you can see that's fast. But also with UHS 1 cards, usually, I don't know, um, 20 cents per gigabyte around this. So, much cheaper again, doing the same test. Now the buffer is running low much quicker and the speed at in the end will be uh, slower uh, anyway. But still okay, I would say. So now you can hear, really hear the difference. It's much slower than with an UHS-2 card. But considering the price of the Ascendus card, it's still a good result, I would say. And that's the yeah, biggest change we see OM1 compared to older Olympus cameras. Those cameras were fast as well using UHS-2 memory cards. The difference is, I don't know, maybe the OM-1 is 10, 15% faster, so not that much. It's, it's okay, it's nice, but yeah, not, not a real, yeah, world-changing difference. 
but with the UHS-1 cards, the OM-1 is about twice as fast, so they are the biggest speed improvements, meaning you could achieve okay results with everyday UHS-1 memory cards. So it's okay to use such a card if you're not yeah, really going to use the really high frame rates that much or you could, I don't know, wait a couple of seconds more to let the memory cards finish thanks to the really great image buffer. But of course we tested many, many, many more memory cards with the OM1 81 as of this video. So if you want to see all test results with the OM1 Check out the link in the video description below or go to memorycard.expert. Yeah, that's simple. And yeah, that's it for today's video. If you have any questions on memory card performance with the OM1, let me know in the comments. I try to answer everything. Thanks for watching. See you next video. Goodbye.